Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down All night, we just let the good times pass and got caught up in our fights. I say I don't mind, but that's a lie. Thought we'd work it out. I've tried to let you go. Memories they tend to stay. Doesn't matter anyway. Cause it won't be a May. Now I'm just waiting for love. Waiting for love Try to forget about you makes me restless Waiting for love Waiting for love I don't know what else I can do It's hopeless to Be holding on to you
Good morning, good morning, good morning, N-A-R. Welcome to the final wrap-up. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero, J-Man Speaks, coming to you live and direct from my global headquarters here in Rochester, New York, with my co-anchors, these lovely ladies. Go ahead, Marky, take what, it away. What's crack a in this morning? This is your girl, Marky Lemons Rao, coming to you from the Chicago so soid home to Lem's Barbecue. <laughs> Let me tell you, you guys make West Chicago sound boring. And I am Carrie Littles from <laughs> Little from way out in the suburbs where they call it the sticks. <laughs> Carrie, you could just start telling people you from Iowa. That will be acceptable. <laughs> I can get to Iowa a whole lot faster. <laughs> that is what's going on, guys, this morning. Well, you know. Final wrap up. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little bit sad. I was thinking like boys to men, like it's so hard to say goodbye, right? To yesterday and the day before and the day before that. Uh, I, it was three days. Went Mark like and this. I noticed we didn't sing. Mark yeah. and I didn't sing. <laughs> hey, you were backup dancers though. I'm not a good singer. I'm more right. Of a... We could be backup dancers. Mark was like, "Here, if you, if you get to be in the choir, you just don't. You could move your mouth." Just don't. <laughs> like, so you know what, now that Carrie said that, just to add a little laughter to this morning, I was actually put out of the choir. One, I cannot sing, so and I make up my own words to the song. But once the choir director saw me in the choir stand, sleep and snoring, he called my granddaddy and said, look, what? let's find Sparky another activity at the church. <laughs> I got put out the choir at the tender age of seven, baby. <laughs> Like I've never heard of that before. That's that's oh that's, yes, that's I he had had enough of me. He was like, "This child can't sing." First of all, she make up her own lyrics. Oh, and to add insult to injury, I would pop my fingers. Now, in a good old good gospel church, right? <laughs> at Greater Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church, you can clap your hands. Okay, you can clap yeah. your hands in the stand, but I'm up there like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Right. Get her out of here. <laughs> oh man, that is funny. Oh my my. Lord well, no. let's let's talk about I guess it's a final wrap up. So we can talk about all three days, favorite moments, but also let's talk about yesterday. Let's talk about the legend. Let's let's uh Mr. John so Legend. John Legend. I did not realize that my Belle Guzman, that was her boy crush, but uh, let me right. tell you what was kind of funny about John Legend. One, we have a relationship with him because he's also performed at one of our concerts. However, I've been following him on Twitter and he came ready. What was funny was he was being interviewed, but you know, usually the person will say your name, you introduce yourself, and then they come back and ask a question. He skipped past all that. Right. Malta said his name. John Legend said, you know, I'm glad to be here. And 20 minutes later, he was wrapping up because he had <laughs> so much in him that he, he wanted to, to unleash yeah. <laughs> on us. What was well, one, he's highly educated. And so the media would have you to think that he was just a entertainer. No, he attended a prestigious university. He understands housing discrimination. He's read the reports. He even mentioned my favorite book of this year, which is The Color of Law. I think this should become mandated reading for real to members. When you realize that one of uh, Floyd Lloyd, to be exact, uh, president of the California Association of Realtors, basically talked about the Negro invasion and he did uh, panic selling uh, out in the, uh, what is that, uh, Palo Alto area. So mm -hmm. he talked about it all. I mean, he was ready. Uh, he was well uh well versed on the subject especially when it comes to the word master bedroom even though he said that's not the real issue at hand he wanted to talk about creating um essentially equity and home ownership for people of color so a lot of this conference is very timely based on everything that's going on in the country with the people who we had present uh, let me let me applaud NAR right now. Uh, since I've been speaking for NAR since 2009 as a speaker, this was the most diverse lineup of speakers. If you look at the percentage of Asian, Hispanics, and African Americans ever, ever in history. So I applaud NAR. And... Oh. And so, you know, um, 
usually there's a young lady, Tamika Jones, out of uh, Missouri, and she said she knew she wanted to be a speaker when I was the only black female speaker. And so it feels good to not be the only one. I tell everybody I'm the exception, but I should be the norm because I'm not the only uh, black dynamic female speaker uh, in the marketplace. There are other ones and there's an abundance of opportunities. So I encourage people to come and get it. <laughs> well, and uh it kind of, I think it might have been for the first time ever. I saw sessions in Spanish and they are in Espanol. And look, I'm 100% Puerto Rican. And uh, look, Spanish is my second language. I probably wouldn't attend something in Spanish. I would understand, but I wouldn't be able to grasp it depending on how fast that they're talking. But man, we had somebody tuning in yesterday from Guatemala. It's like, we had, we're worldwide, right? We have all these these countries where that, that we have partnerships with. Why not? have sessions that they can also learn from. I mean, they get the networking portion, but also to have sessions. I, I thought that was great. Mm. Yeah, and full disclosure, I was one of those that couldn't catch all the morning sessions because I'm a speaker. So I get to go back and catch John Legend. So I'm just getting the wrap up from you. Ah, well, he was dynamic and he knows what he's talking about. And he, you know, he tells the story and he tells you he's very fortunate and he has money and of course, he might not be subjected to that treatment. Let me also say, as we all, those who know my bell know that she's very well versed. So she was ready for the interview. And she talked about all the initiatives that NAR has come out with in the past year. I think it was Nate who stated something. I, let me be clear, I was mad. I, once George Floyd occurred, I was mad because no one was taking action right. fast enough to me. And when you listen to Nate, you want to take action, but you don't want to be sloppy. That's exactly how he said it. And at that moment, it soothed my soul to realize that action would be taken, but we didn't, but it wasn't going to be sloppy action. And NAR, I will say this, they're ending the year on a high note. We have implemented a, a lot of new strategies. It's like they finally heard our voice. So I'm, I'm elated about that. But you know what? So yeah, I don't like to talk about race issues because at the moment a black woman starts talking about race, she's viewed as the angry black woman. And I am far from being the angry black woman. Uh, as I tell people, I'm the black woman who showed up and took action, but I am not angry. I'll be angry if I'm 80 and I haven't done anything. Uh, and so, yeah, so John Legend, go back and watch that uh, segment. But you both presented yesterday. Woohoo! I was in both of them. I can't believe it. So it started with Carrie. Well, Carrie, how did you how did you manage that panel of four dynamic people, including yeah. yourself? And um, and, and, and your husband. you know, an, <laughs> right. But, say that again. <laughs> and your husband. That was I got some interesting quotes that I but go ahead. I want you I want you to I was like, she said, what? Go ahead. You know, that was that was one of my favorite. And you know what Marky said was true earlier when she talked about speakers, especially minority speakers. Marky really did help me. Like people don't know, I am very appreciative for Marky because if it wasn't for Marky, if it wasn't for Women's Council, if it wasn't for Regina, I would not be where I am today. So for those of you that don't remember Regina, she was the education uh, director over at Main Street Organization of Realtors. But you know, I'm I'm big on I want to bring people with me, and the agents in my office oh, wow. also know this. So, uh, I mean, if you show that you really want to do something, I'll help you. I have no problem helping you because eventually we all are, are going to be replaced. Right, Marky? Because we can't do this forever. Your so, can I say something while you're saying that? Yeah. Because, I, I, cause you know, our phones are going to start ringing with people who instantly think that they should have access. And I'm not denying anyone access, but I only help people who volunteer. Um, and so there's only so much time in the day. If you're not coming from contribution, I cannot contribute to you. So I actually sit back and watch to see if other people volunteer, if they're giving to their community before I would ever take time out of my schedule to help you. So I help those who are willing to help others. Uh, and I just because, you know, people going to say, well, I want to do what you want to do. And ah, no, wait a minute. Pump the brakes. <laughs> One, we need to build a relationship. But I right. need to know that you come from contribution. If I don't know that, I'm not pouring into people who are always got their hands open, but not putting anything back out. 
I'm sorry, Carrie. Just want to before our phones start blowing oh, that's up. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> they're, 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 you know, they, it's still gonna happen. Um, Mark, right. Mark, you might do a 15 minute 6 a.m. session with you on Zoom. Heard me 6 a.m. session. You know, because people don't want to show up at 6 a.m. Yeah, so, right. um, you heard us. So, Hope, ma'am, she did win yesterday because she was very active <laughs> on social media with Good Morning NAR. Uh, and we are probably doing another giveaway. So if you have not taken a photo, if you have not given us a shout out, if you shout out already on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you got to start doing that because we are ready to smile. So anyway, oh, Hope Mims, no. you've heard the story. Oh, well, we'll do it again. Okay. I was smiling. It was okay <laughs> if you didn't smile. Okay, man. So, so we had a panel. It was uh, Trends in uh, Technology and Boutique Brokerages. And so we had a nice group. We had over 360 people watch yesterday live and a lot of people that are interested in getting uh, or starting a boutique brokerage or some that have already started trying to figure out if they want a team, trying to figure out the technology and how to compete. So we even talked about competition. We talked about should I be competing with the big box brokerage? And I'll tell you, and I don't know how much you got to hear, but Sarah Ware, if you don't know the Sarah Ware here in Illinois. She is, I, I, I always just say she has the keys to Chicago. You can let her tell you what that means, but she is so educated when it comes to commercial. She understands the minority um, business opportunities and the women-owned business opportunities. She has sat at, um, in front of a, uh, a board for a city to prove that businesses should have the opportunity to open using the information that we already get. So if you missed the session, it was yesterday at 1230. It was only 45 minutes. We were able to talk about the tools that we use. We were able to talk about how we compete. And, and you know, and I, we, I asked the one question and I don't know if you guys heard all of it because we were popping in all of the other um, events. But I asked one question. What is the number one tech tool that you use as a boutique brokerage. What was it? Do you remember J man? Yeah. So she goes, first she goes, <clears throat> Mark, not the tool that I think you should be using, but the tool that you want to use yourself. <laughs> it was like, like, she was like, you listen to me. Don't I'm the, I'm the, <laughs> I'm the, uh, it was. So he, he said, uh, he said his phone and then he said, text message. No CRM. He said CRM. That's what it was. Did and yeah, he said, "Yeah, lion desk." But it was, um, it was just so, not what I say, but what. And I and I love that's one of the things that I loved about the panel because it was real, it was authentic, it wasn't scripted. And I, I, my wife and I are a husband and wife team in real estate, and so I know what that dynamic is like. I live it every day, every day, and to share those little moments, I'm like, "Yo, that sounds like my house right there." It was great. And uh, and here's what people don't know because we only have 45 minutes is before mark was licensed mark, when we when outside was open so if you if you had access to the conference you paid for the conference and you didn't go check out all of the vendors that was mark's job when we went to the conventions he would live on the expo floor and that is how we built our tech right. so that's how we got DocuSign rooms. That's how we're using voice over internet. So we have a phone system marking. If you call and you're like, hey, Kara, I want to buy a house. I need to talk to a lender. You know, at one moment, let me see if Jennifer is available. We can literally compete like the big box brokerages. So we, we can answer the phone from anywhere. We can transfer to any agent. We can transfer to all of our strategic partners. So when we say trends in technology, the trend is, is what works for you, but how can you compete, especially during a stay at home order? Or how do you compete when um, you don't have a physical office? And I know there are some states that still require a physical office, but our laws change. You don't need a physical office. So how do you how do you compete? Like right now, we are none of us are in the same place. How, and we were just laughing about this. You know, what if we had to do this every single day? Right. How how can you leverage the technology to be relevant. So it's the DocuSigns, the dot loops, the reminds, the voice over internet. And one cool thing that if, you do, if you're not following Hope Mims, she's a Mims Realty Group on Instagram. And it is Hope Mims, just like it sounds, Hope and then M-I-M-S. And also Sarah Ware, Hope has a new system where she pays, how she pays agents. Now, Marky, I thought this was brilliant. So we're trying to figure out if we could do it in Illinois. 
they have um i can't remember the ter the acronym she used but she the agents have to fill out all of they they use that loop and it works with this other tool got hope you got to put it in the feed for me yeah um it, it allows you to get paid at the closing table oh so they cut you a third party check right at the closing table so you don't have to bring right, it to I the know. office right i they know we have like a, here. a letter of direction maybe uh, no, it's, all, it's called direct authorization. They call it direct authorization. Okay. But so, and we're okay. using broker Sumo because you know when I worked um, Baird and Warner, we had direct deposit, and I was like, I got, I can't cut a check every time. This makes no sense. When the bigger brokerages are doing this, I want the agents to get what I got. So we use broker Sumo. Talks to Dot Loop. Talk, works with DocuSign Rooms. I think it also works with Paperless Pipeline. And as soon as all of the agents' paperwork is in sends the commission over to broker sumo the agents can see their volume you don't have to call me and say hey carrie how many deals did i close this month go see for yourself and it tells them when they get get paid and all the 1099s are done so um when we say boutique brokerage everyone has the ability to compete you don't have to use an excel spreadsheet <laughs> <laughs> well you know and, and talking about technology when i started Talking about technology, you know, I, I'm the same way. I would spend, I would budget at least three hours for that expo. And I would go table to table and go, listen, I don't need to spiel. I need meat and potatoes. I got attention deficit. And then they would go because you got it. You have to, because if not, they're going to be like, hold on. And here's the new car. And blah, blah. I'm like, bro, just give and me we the, need you to the get, go through this entire booth. And we need you to win. <laughs> right. And like, no, no, I don't, I don't care about the giveaways. Tell me why I should use your product. And two sentences or less, please. And then if I like it, we're going to do a lot of business. And if I don't, hey, we met today and it's been a great experience for us both. Okay. And then how would that, like, I would make it, <laughs> I would make my way through, <laughs> through the whole thing. And, and oh, man, I always leave there with, that's one of the things that I, I felt could have been a little bit better. And I think that might be more on the, on the vendors to be more creative in ways to, to get us to engage with them. You know, that the expo was, it was hard because I went in there and then like if they're talking, it's hard, you know, it's it's not like an expo in person where you could hop in and be like, okay, I'm waiting for my turn. I always say like double dots right. where you're like, okay, here I go, here I go. Well, hey, they I got, got a question. Creative. Because when we would go to the, the last year when we went, they got creative. They hired Marky and Marky sat there and talked right. for, you know, 15 minutes <laughs> and their booth was full. I mean, that's right. something they could have done. They could have done that here. 100%. And, yeah. and the expo had five oh. minute talks, even if it was recorded. Now, Mark, see, I didn't give Mark an idea. Uh -oh. So they could have Mark bought they could have bought those uh, table talks and the round tables and partnered them with each of the vendors to get people to come in to have dialogue. Hey, Bonnie, take this idea and run with it. And guess what? Now I need to go back to homes.com. I got an uh, email from them. Uh, <laughs> I'm, because I'm like, let, me call, let me call Cloud CMA. Uh, WNR Studios, Look, and I'm a cloud CMA influencer, and so now you've given me an idea. Uh, look, in I think it's like one of them. Remind. They should have left my butt online. I hate, to, <laughs> I hate to get up like they do at Good Morning America, that's, that, but that's that's I'm Marky's. I have an idea face. I love that because he's it's like bling, like like uh, there would almost be a virtual light Here's bulb. Here's the thing: her. we should have been doing that. Like we yeah. could have had a sponsor. Look, we're gonna have to talk offline. Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm the one that didn't have to go to all the booths. I was oh, she DM got the Wells Fargo horse. I, I, I was at the I was at uh the expo and I would get DMs on Instagram. Hey Carrie, could you just come by our booth? We're gonna give you a horse. Because hey. we talk, we, we remind so I I think people need to hear how we think. I need Jay, I'm gonna need you to cut that one clip. Where we just had that whole epiphany so that we could sell that <laughs> to all the vendors <laughs> for next year in the hybrid model. I just need right. that one clip. <laughs> you got it. You got it. We, you, we could be pre recorded. You do three sessions for five minutes and we don't ever have to be there because virtual. This is called thinking out of the, uh, thinking on demand, like thinking now. Wow. So, J Man, because yeah. you haven't. Look, you, you get the two of us, us talkers together. And I noticed that you can be quiet and you just let us go back and forth. Uh, like you said, you know, I'm married, so I'm a good listener. I go, yes, yeah. dear. Go ahead, what, girls. Uh -huh, let me know. Let me just say this about your session. I am clear that you had more out of the virtual environment engagement than probably any speaker because of a simple thing called a bot. So I don't think Carrie and I can do 
that bot discussion. Uh, any justice? I can tell us. I, 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 I can let me just start with Jay Man happened. talk for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, well, let me just tell them what happened. Wait, I, she's gonna toot my horn, so let me let her go ahead. Hold on. Oh, toot, 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 toot. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so you know, I, I, ha I had to go listen to the messenger bot. I'll let Jay Man talk about it, but I'll tell you because of what we're doing, the the, the live Good Morning NAR, we are using all of our tools. So J-Man is using, together, j is using one of my live tools. He's using one of his. We're using his studio so we can come to you like Good Morning America. And so <clears throat> I have, J-Man gave me access to his business page. And after yesterday's session, because of the bot, when you hear about bot, it is someone sends a message in, a, in your DM and then it automatically responds. So I am seeing all of J-Man's responses and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to, first of all, I was like, I need to build this out for my buyers, my sellers, and my yeah. investors. And, and, and I was taking it to a whole new level. To me, this was one of the trends in technology that we should have talked about in boutique brokerages because it could have been used for recruiting. 100%. So my phone is blowing up 10 o'clock at night. And I was like, is Jimmy I'm responding to this chick at 11 o'clock at night um, Eastern time? I was I'm like, fast asleep. Well, he's asleep because he goes to bed because he's running at 430 a.m. Yeah. I had to turn my phone off, turn this down, turn off the uh, notifications on my iPad so I could get something done. So for those of you that did not see his session, it is one of the last sessions. Yesterday. It is the last session before the. Closer. messenger bot go back and watch it NBA. oh my god thank you thank you carrie uh so let me just say this because i it's hard in 45 minutes to really get deep into that and and that's what it requires it's almost like an in-person workshop would do it the most justice and maybe that'll come come soon once we can see people again but it, it's just an automated conversation with a personal touch right like if i ask you guys right now to script any conversation that you would have with a buyer or a seller you could do it if it's a FISBO, if it's a move up buyer, if it's a first time hop, you could predict how that conversation is going to go. And that's how messenger bots work. Uh, I'll give you another example. Right now, if you went to my page, which you probably, some of you are watching this on my page, facebook.com slash jman speaks, you send one keyword. Okay. This is where it gets crazy. Just one keyword. Don't say please. Don't say send. Nothing but a keyword equipment. It will auto reply with a one sheet that I've already created for you with all the equipment that I recommend to be a virtual superhero like you see here with the green screen and the lights. I have good, better, best options. The second keyword I'll give you is Zoom tips. I have a 16 page document that I created. It took me probably six or seven hours with screenshots on how you should change your Zoom settings to boost your engagement when you're, when you're on Zoom. Because let's face it, we're gonna be on Zoom for a while now or some kind of virtual platform. You wanna stand out, right? When I went to the hall, hall talk, everybody was like, Yo, what's up with that background? What's up with the QR code? What's... I'm having conversations and that's what networking is about. Especially if you're, you know, if you're introverted and you're like, I don't like to have conversations because I'm, I'm scared to talk to people. Let them talk to you because of something that you're doing that's different and sets you apart from the competition. All and right, I'll so... say Marky knows this very well. Because we, all three of us together, we would probably make someone pass out if they're an introvert. So if you ever get to a conference... Like we, Marky, don't you know when we're sitting next to Sarah and Nakia? We know, we know, we we know, we can discern the ain't that they're like. First of all, it's the arrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <It's> the, <laughs> let's start with the arrow, right? Um, and it's very hard to have conversations with people. That's probably why we get so excited when we see one another. Because one, we are self-employed and a lot of our friends have jobs. And then we're always looking for new creative ways in order to, as small business owners, to boost our visibility. So we are 100% in consistent learning mode. Like right. we are sponges, we taking it, we going back, we researching it, we on YouTube, we on Google every night, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it can be overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> it can be overwhelming for some people. <laughs> Then they want to know why I want to hang out with you guys. Look, because we're going to implement. Right. We're, we're going taking to action. And let me tell you, um, because J-Man could have two classes out of just the bot. I mean, well, first of all, you could have a bunch of bot classes, a part one, two, three, four, and five, maybe. Right. But 
Well, the biggest takeaway I got from the bots is I need to at least do one. I need to build one. But the right. second thing I got out of being just talking to you here in the morning, because J Man wanted us to start at seven thirty, and then Marky was like seven fifteen, and then I was like working out today and yesterday. I was like, forget it. <laughs> so it's happening in the evening. But the other one I took away was, as you were saying, we need the QR code. And remember when we started with QR codes because Cloud CMA has them, yep. you had to build it, you put it somewhere, and then you had to have the app. You don't need the app anymore. And you've seen that our restaurants have gotten innovative. They don't have the paper uh, menus anymore. You go in, you go to the table, you scan the recipe. That's what J-Man did well. So we're watching him. And the QR code pops up. I open up my phone. I scan it. It took me right to his messenger bot. And I was like, yeah, I got to do something different. And the hardest thing for most of us is you got to start. So we have to start. And once you start and you build it, it's a set it and forget it. Right. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's on <laughs> autopilot because today's consumer wants information yesterday. Right. They want to go to your site and say, hey, I want to know about first time homebuyer programs. I want to know about grants. I want to know about this. And if you have it on demand, which is I have a menu of things of resources as a speaker, but also as a realtor that I know what you want. I have it provided for you on a platter for free. I'm not trying to capture you. I'm not trying to pull your information. I got you already because we're connected on Messenger. Messenger has everything. <laughs> it leverages your profile from Facebook. So I don't need to do the landing page and all the rest of that. I mean, it's that's. That's, that's and really, school. you can extract all of your everyone in Facebook anyway. I can go pull a whole database out of Facebook and have the world doesn't even know you can grab that. Right. But it's different because that's that's scraping data, right? What we would call like, hey, I could hire a, a VA to go and scrape all of my people. But what's different about the bots is it's permission based. Right. Right. Marky says, I want to know about bots. Here you go, Marky. And you know what? Here's a, another 30 minute webinar I did. Have that for free. And she's like, hold up. You're doing exceeding my expectations, but that's what I do. Just go ahead, you know, and, and that's <laughs> <laughs> right. Cause it's, it's cause it, people don't think like that anymore. They're like, Oh, what does he want to sell me? I don't want to sell you anything. I want to make you better. Here you go. And then when you want to use me for, for my product or service that I offer, you're going to pick me. It's not, it's not a closing process. You select me because I, I have provided value and you like, no one trusts me because our personalities click. Now, let me say this. Um, last year at Inman and then out of numerous sessions this year, one thing going into 2021, everyone says we're going to see more of it. It is 100 percent automation. And so, Jay, man, you're already ahead of that curve because you already have automation set up. And here's what's funny. I think we were both at Inman maybe three years ago when realtors did not like bots. Like we were like, oh, that's the worst thing ever. Here's the problem with that. Consumers like right. bots. And so when you think about how are you going to be the next Zillow, it's not about what we like as practitioners. It is 100% about what does the consumer like. And we have to give consumers what they want. So we need to give them automation to communicate with us whenever they desire. <clears throat> and another thing we got to get into, right? This year, 360 virtual reality augmented if it's not about you mm -hmm. and if you don't give the consumers what they want where they are they will go to someone who will it is always about the consumer and that is a, how you will grow your business a, amen when people go like well i don't like bots and like, he said it's not about you it's about yeah. the client what does your client want and if that's what they want give it to them you know, get out of that's your own way. That's why they end up on the other websites. That's why they, that's exactly. why even, even um, like our MLSs are always being updated and agents, because I get to teach them, are like, Carrie, why does this keep changing? Why does this keep changing? Because software products are not updated for you. They're updated for the consumer. Because when you look at data, the consumer is accessing everything from their mobile device. Even though I love my Mac, I love my laptop, I love my iPad. The consumer is on the go. So they're shopping for a house here. They're in their messenger bot. Because Marky and I have this honest um, debate on vertical versus horizontal. Like, I, I like horizontal because this is how I watch TV. <laughs> and and I've converted to vertical because, he, and here's, here's my argument today, Carrie. You ready for it? <laughs> no, no, I got, I got, look, I just got two things happen 
essentially in the last month that tell you vertical, vertical, vertical. What are those two things, Carrie? One just happened this oh. week. Oh, you mean oh. you mean fleek that I can't say? So, so let me say this. In the last month, so story is the fastest growing form of content. I'm going to tell y'all what she meant by that. It's the fastest growing content in the history of the internet. In the last 30 days, stories have come to LinkedIn and they're now on Twitter. Now, Carrie, being from Iowa, stated the word is, because you know, you know, it's fleet. So you know, you be on fleet. No, you do not be on fleet. You be on fleet. <laughs> With a K. So that is <laughs> this no, one is this not a word that we typically use when you're born in the 70s. Girl, look, you better come on now. I have a 13 year old, so I right. have to stay up on right. urban. Look, urban terminology. It is be on fleek, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So what 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 other other takeaways from yesterday or the, the whole I mean, and, and if you're watching now, why don't you put that in the chat too? So we can, you know, we got people watching from all over Chicago, Maryland, New York. Georgia. I'll tell you, I'm, um, so I'm here, I'm in the event. So if you're, I'm in the, in J man, in the event. So if you're in the event to uh, send your questions, but I'll tell you, I did jump into uh, one of the brokerage uh, round tables with Adorna and we had, that was one of the, the bigger topics, there are a lot of boutique brokerages out there and people are trying to figure out, should I start a brokerage as a team? Should I recruit? And it was just interesting to figure here why people started their brokerages. Some started because they were do one, one started a brokerage because the company caved during COVID. Like it, they just went out of business and I'm thinking, yeah, that's see, that's not what I want to do. That's, that's why I struggle with loans. Um, and, and this gentleman started his business. It's him and his friend. They started a, a brokerage and they're trying to figure out, should they do a team or should they recruit? And they're still selling. I don't sell. So if you're, you know, that whole dynamic. And then what I loved about Adorna, who owned a company, she had over 100 agents, three different offices. And she said, sit down and think about, do you really want to recruit a top producer? Do you really want to recruit a top producing team? What does your model look like? And I don't even want to tell you what she said about well, the drama. Carrie, this is one thing that um, I, I'm affiliated with a top franchise. However, I don't publicize that I'm affiliated with the top franchise right. because I work for all of our competitors. And one thing people know, I don't let you come and take food off my plate. I don't come and take food off of your plate. Right. But with that being said, based on the fact that of my extensive travels and I'm not here, it is not ideal for me to run a company. So I work with a company that provides for a revenue share because we have a managing broker of record. We have a sponsoring broker, which is Illinois terminology. Everyone wants to own a company, but I want to make the most amount of money per hour work in the fewest hours possible. And that does not always come with ownership of a company. And so when you go back and you start thinking about what your true why is and why you do what you do, I think people really need to look at the numbers. And because I've always been an entrepreneur, I know a bunch of people who are entrepreneurs for the sake of saying they're entrepreneur, but they're not making any money. That is not cute to me. I mean, it's just, it's, I'm like, well, what you do this for? You know what I'm saying? And then they're, they're over here uh, Cardi B talked about it this morning. She said, you can yo, you can be fly with no swag, but there are a lot of people with swag and no fly, right? And that means that you can have all these, the cars and the designer stuff. That don't mean it look good. See, I can put on, a, right, a look, I can put on a Target outfit and throw on some lipstick and some jewelry that I got on sale at, at J. Crew 80% off, and I didn't add it to fly, right? So I, I want people to stop wanting to own something for the sake of saying they're a boss. And right. this comes from another meme I saw. We need to tell the next generation to develop your leadership skills because everybody want to be a boss. I'm a boss lady. No. Are you an effective leader? Right. So Say just right. And Say just again. the idea of knowing like we don't sit down and write down what we want. We see what everybody else has and we want to be them. I, listen, this is Running a company is not easy, I, and especially when you're a boutique with 36 plus one, because, you know, my oldest son just passed a real estate exam yesterday. 
And, I, and you know, I told him, I said, because he was a kid, <laughs> because he's the kid that has a photographic memory, I said, when you get up, pay attention. The other people in the class taking the test are going to be stressed out. And right. that is, he was like, because he's just that kid. But anyway, I digress. Um, running a company is, it's not easy, especially when you're a boutique. You gotta really know. And I got into this business because of my husband. I mean, I didn't get in the business because of him, but I opened a company because of him. When I really look back at the end of the day, my story is this. When I used to work for big companies, I used to get passed up. I was educated. I couldn't figure out why, but then I got the memo. Right, Marky? I now figure, I, I really do understand why. There's a book called The Memo. So I realized it was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a female, I'm a minority, and it, I just didn't have a voice. So I run a company now to give people that didn't have a voice a voice. Yes, I'm the boss, but I'm, you know, I don't even flaunt it like a lot of people do. I am probably better off than some of the people that are the, that have, thousands of thousands of followers on social media, but we're doing okay. I, right. You know, in addition to the fact that I do have a husband that, that is addicted to cars. So it makes it look good. <laughs> well, let me just, we have a comment from Chantel Franklin who says she wanted to use the word fleek in context. For example, those furs yesterday were on fleek. Thank you. Okay. They were on I feel like that fleek. was for me. We were on oh, fleet. Let me. Uh, that, yeah, she had to get. She had to get you together, Carrie, because that fleet <laughs> thing. Oh, that was, I, just, I, I wish you could have recorded that earlier, because we were we were laughing out of no, our no, out of our chairs. No, but let me just. I, I, I want to say was, something. I knew it ended with a K. I knew it ended in the. She's K. like fleet, like fleet feet. My um, sister, no, wait. But then she she affirms it with what her twin sister told her, right? <laughs> and I'm like, come south side, south side for life. Come on now, Carrie. <laughs> Yeah, so let, let me just add a little bit. Uh, I had a session, a networking roundtable. It it's called social media for a reason, air quotes. And, you know, I, it, we had such a good session. And I love those smaller group because it is like a fireside chat. You're just around the table talking about like social media. And the discussion was around like being who you want to be and who you really are authentically, right? Be your true self. Keep it one. 100 means be your authentic self, Carrie. Um, but being being who you are, and, and I gave the example, like when I was a kid growing up in school, I got in trouble because I had too much energy because I was always talking and I was the, like the class clown. Guess what, folks? Now I get paid because I have so much energy. I do a lot of talking and I'm funny at times. OK, so it's it's like. Don't don't be afraid to share who you are with the world. It, that's the difference with social media. It's like, no, no, I got to be this professional. Just like you said, this boss. And I, I got to go buy this fake Rolex in Times Square. And I got to do, like, you're not fooling anybody. Just taking care of people, being who you are. And, and I always say, like, I'm the richest man in the world because I come home and my kids run into my arms. Like, that's for me is, is the riches and the why that you got to focus on. It's not about the money. Right. It's not when you yeah. stop focusing on the money and start focusing on the relationships, that's when the true riches come. Right. If you want to take away anything from this week, that's that's what that's what I got. My oldest son is in the pre-license course. And last night he came upstairs because he's doing that. Uh, it, uh, what is that? Uh, exam smart. And he got a question wrong. He was livid, too. He was like, now, Ma, I need you to explain this to me. <laughs> And it was about the buyer and the uh, the buyer or the seller receiving compensation as a result of the transaction. I said, well, they're a party to the transaction. Therefore, and you could just see his head because now he got ideas. He was like, so I could offer rebates. I said, well, if that's what you want to do, I said, let me be clear. And I told him how I came into the market. I said, I wouldn't now because I think of myself as having more value than that. But that led down a whole model discussion and everything just with him based on that one exam question. I mean, he in my bed, he got his legs crossed because he want to have a full, because he was upset right. that yeah. he got that one question wrong. <laughs> I need you to pass the test, Skylar. We just need you to pass the test. We don't, we, we could talk and debate about the answer later. Just get the right answer. <laughs> get the right answers. Come on, so we can have our son, so we can build these legacies. You know what? So what are we going to implement? What's one thing as a result of this week that you plan to change in 2021 in order to grow your business? 
I'll go Here. first. I'm implementing the bot, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do the bot for um, recruiting. Excellent, J Man. I am going to work on my YouTube, uh, you know, and, and I've known Antoine now for a couple of years because we're represented by the same agent, a uh, speaker agent or speakers bureau, if you, you know, and I'm the kind of, I'm a knucklehead, right? I'm, I'm a little bit stubborn at times and I, I'll listen to things. And I'm like, no, uh, -uh I'm going to do it the way I want to do. I'm going to grow it organically. And look at with <laughs> algorithms yeah. and, and, and these platforms, you got to listen to what the experts are telling you because it works and that's my biggest challenge. I got like 900 or 850 YouTube subscribers, but I've grown that from going and doing events and you know saying follow me and providing resources and making videos. But my goal with my channel is to help as many agents as possible be better in their business and be more professional in the industry and enhance their tech expertise. So I got to listen to what he was saying and really put my, you know, do it on a regular, do all the things that he said that that's what I'm definitely going to be implementing, especially as we come into the winter here. Um, you know, the, well, let's, the let's help you with that. What is your YouTube channel? What's your YouTube channel? Cause it's you youtube.com slash J man speaks. And okay. I'm marking so on there limited. <laughs> let's, let's go, go, go to the YouTube yeah. channel. Uh, and, and I'm Carrie Joe Little. I think it's youtube.com slash C slash Carrie Joe Little. It's like something weird, but literally if you just go to YouTube and search, Mm -hmm. We come up and I'll take it a step further with the bots. So, J Man, I still do direct mail. Um, we buy a list from the, pa the passer list from the agents that pass the exam, and mm -hmm. I send a mailer out and I have a redirect to just YouTube. But maybe I should have a redirect with yeah, the bye. QR code 100%. It could be a QR code and a URL, newagentsuccess.com, whatever you want to call it. New agent, I have a dot URL. I have a URL that takes them to um, your what you're supposed. It's a, a whole playlist for new real estate agents. So it, it could be a re all these resources. So if you go to the, the bot.jmanseminars.com, that's called a gallery that they could choose from. It's just like a menu. Here's your new agent 90 day success program. Here's your and so they go in there and you know uh, on the back end because I know you ladies love data, especially Carrie loves the analytics and stuff. You can you can look at the back end and say here's my click through rates on all of the uh, the things that I offer to know what people are clicking through, like all those people that were in my bot yesterday, I know what they care about because I know what they clicked on. And, and then I know, okay, let me, let me add more resources to this. Cause it seems to be trending or seems to be, um, mm -hmm. resonating with the audience that I'm working with. Okay. So I think I'm doing too much. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I, yeah, I am. I'm going to take DM if you see that in yeah, her feed. Just, DM. I'm, I'm going to narrow it in. Uh, I am going to, I am, I am going to start with, uh, ask the public to curate essentially all the content I will discuss next year. I want to bring in, um, more YouTube and also the bot. That's it. That's all. I have. She's lying. Marky's going to work on her reels. Oh, I am going to work on reels, but I'm already Instagram was already a part of the strategy. You know what? The one thing I wish I could get rid of is Twitter. I, I, I Honestly, I just don't need to me. I don't need Twitter. I need Facebook. I need Instagram, LinkedIn and Pinterest. That's really where and Pinterest. Oh, my God. When I look at the, the amount of traffic it drives to my website, unfreaking real. But the audience is so young over there. Like that is my youngest audience out of all my audiences, right? It's still heavily female, but I'm talking about 25 year olds. So not quite old enough, but even though they're starting their looking process. But to me, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a lot of value out of Twitter. And I'm thinking about eliminating it because if you're going to add something new, you need to go back and look at what's working to me, what right. isn't working. And sometimes it's okay to let things go. What I I've been toying with was my podcast and I'm going to keep my every other week interval just trying to see how that's going to work into it. Cause yeah, I got, it's a lot going on. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Well, and, but Twitter is where I get the real time, like something it's breaks. Good for on Twitter first. Well, and, and that's what it's I always say. Like conference. you you have a presence on there, follow your local reporters and stuff. Cause it's a great way to get interviewed. If you're like, if you have it being syndicated from your other channels, but I mean, it's a good message for everybody watching because if you attended all the social media stuff and video stuff this week, 
you are overwhelmed. There is no doubt about it. You have to be. And it's like, pick, start first. Like, let me pick two. What do I really like doing? Because if you go on Facebook and you're like, damn, I hate this. This is, uh, Marky said, I got to do video every day. Uh, you, you, then that's all going to come through, right? And, and so it's like, pick what you like. Start there and and be just be great at it. It's, it's like that agent who says, oh, where do you practice real estate? Illinois. No, you don't. You, there's a specific area you specialize in just like so, you know, social media needs to be the same way. Pick what you like and be really great at it. Be the best at live video, perhaps. And I'll tell you right now, we're getting comments. Some people are going to be working on their reels. Chantel. Uh, yeah, Chantel also said Twitter a lot. Um, shout out to Sabrina. She's got her YouTube channel. She's like, subscribe. She'll subscribe back. Um, Princess. So let me, I want to come back to you because we said a lot. And I want I want people to kind of get more refined. I think everybody should have a business plan. Your business plan should have a marketing plan. Your marketing plan should include social media and technology. Don't do anything that doesn't get you to meet your business plan goals. So you everybody knows I've been in a TikTok dilemma all year. Like this is not new. I've been in a yeah. TikTok dilemma all year. Since we did I a trending TikTok. Conclusion. Since we did a trend in TikTok. And so I wasn't going to do it. Then J-Man had me do one. I saw I saw its value and how people engage with it. Then I went and took some classes. Then I'm like, nope, not going to do it. Now, I'm clear about the day I'm going to retire. I am going to retire September the 25th, 2033. And why I clarified that I will be economically eligible for retirement because that's the day that I'm going to receive my first spousal funded pension plan. So if I don't feel like coming to work, y'all, I'm married right. I need y'all to know I'm married right. Um, and, and, and let me add to that. I'm already vested. Okay. I can leave this man today or tomorrow. I'm the first wife. I'm still going to get that spousal funded let pension. Me that on. Let me send <laughs> so I'm with him because I like him. Okay. So with that being said, <laughs> I don't need the TikTok audience in order to retire successfully. But what I do need is a TikTok like strategy. When Instagram brought reels into Instagram, that's where I need to focus. So no, I don't need another channel to manage. I need to manage and be more effective with reels and consistent on Instagram because that'll get me everything that I need. And that's how you have to start looking at your business. I think we should read um, the one thing and what is it? Don't eat the frog or who ate my frog? Brian uh, Quillo, I got the book, it's green behind me. Um, it's not about you doing more, it's about your ability to say no to what doesn't get you to your goal. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I like I feel like I'm preaching. TikTok is the, the the evening addiction. I am not. I'm not just trending. You know, we, we're probably at almost two million views because my oldest son likes to do Dang, um, that's good. jokes with his parents. So he'll ask us a question, and we just we are have blown up. Mark and I. <laughs> but you know, and I, and I'm not saying I want to do uh, TikTok, but I will say the agents that have gotten good at it, and it is the next generation. Things I've seen were um, great videos showcasing luxury homes with music behind it and mm -hmm. explaining it in less than 60 seconds. That really made me look at it. Um, and again, you know, my 18 year old is making about $400 a month on TikTok. Not real estate, but it has made me think there's still something to it. But it's been in the news. There's some, right. still some controversy and it was it was on 60 Minutes last week. But I, I do agree with Marky. She's over 10,000 followers. Yeah, you could blow up reels on. Oh, I, I'm looking at the engagement I got already. So I've been really working on that strategy. You will see it come to life the first week in December. I'm taking December. I am going to be very strategic using reels and uh, even bring it into a class. And can could I use TikTok to create those videos? Most definitely because... There's a way to reduce that TikTok logo when you uh, download it. Can and a lot it. of people are using it for creation, but that doesn't mean that's the channel they want to grow. Yeah. And I'll right. just add this one little bit. Quality of life, the fun that I have with my son creating the TikToks, like that's the main reason why I got it. He's like, yo, dad, the, if you saw the last one that we did, 
He's like, Dad, you got to do this dance with me. And it's like 8 o'clock at night, and I'm grumpy by that time. I'm tired. I got to go to bed. I'm like, I don't want to do damn dance with you, man. He's like, just come on. And he made me do it. And by the end, I'm like, yeah, this is fun. And then I reposted that onto my Instagram, on my stories, and, and onto my Facebook as well. And it goes back to like it's called social media. People see me having fun with my son goes to one of my core values, which is family. And they go, man, most of my clients are people with children. They go, family, man, I am too. That's my realtor. Forget about that. I sell a lot that I know a lot. It's the fact that our, our, our values align and that's why they're going to pick me. Amen. Yeah. So what else we got so for the gonna, people? We didn't talk for an hour. We knew we were gonna go over. It's nine you know, fifty you know three. Nine fifty three. Man, I'm hot. We talked too much. Coat today. Shoot. Is there anything coming up that you um, before we announce a, a couple of winners? And uh, I don't know. We were gonna do something else, but before we do that, is there anything coming up, or is there anything you want them to do? Maybe follow you somewhere. Sign up for your podcast. Oh, they should come over. They should come over to Real Estate Live. They, yep. if they're not already in Real Estate Live, if there's someone at, somewhere else, and they should do the social selling challenge. Uh, the social selling challenge is actually a journal, the social selling journal, which is my number two international bestseller. I now have four. Uh, two I wrote, one I published, one I contributed to, and we have a seven day video tutorial broken down for every question, and it's like seven hours, right? So I would say join uh, Real Estate Live. We have a, a lot of stuff going on over there. For those who aren't, I know we're streaming there, but for those who aren't there already. <laughs> right. Uh, and I'll say, and every Friday morning, I go live on Instagram at 9 a.m. Central Time. So, yeah, if you're in California, you got to get up early or you can watch the replay on IGTV. And I am going to talk about business planting, planning for 2021 planting. tomorrow morning. Business planting. I got bracing. I got braces. So you got to give me grace. Let me just, uh, Look, I want to share this tip with everybody. Let me reduce it. Holy cow. I mean, hey, J man, she might have braces, but that K was definitely a T. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I own it. Let, let me just show, uh, share this this last tip with them. So this is, we talked about QR codes, right? And this is, I've connected with a few dozen people during the, 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 the conference using this in a Zoom because, yeah, you could put it in the chat, but then people miss it in the chat. People always miss stuff in the chat, but I'm always looking at it. And so if they scan that, that goes right to my link tree. Your link tree has a URL. Just go to QR, just Google QR code generator and then have your link tree forward to this QR code. You scan that right now. It's going to go to my QR code and you're going to get a free gift folks. Okay. It is a four part video uh, training called get over yourself with video. AJ, I think because we're instructors, we need to break this down for people. Linktree is L I N K T R dot E E. It is yep. essentially a landing page with all your links. And you would also replace your URL and in Instagram with that link tree link. Also, to use a QR code, all you have to do is open the camera app on your phone and hold your camera up to the code and it will take you to the new page. So I'm just telling you, I know. And if you have an older phone, it might not work for you. That means let me tell you this. If it does not work, it is time for you to get a new phone for Christmas. OK, because your phone is a little antiquated. So yeah. I want everybody to get a Linktree account. Clearly, Jay is telling people this because they came into your room yesterday dropping <laughs> Linktree links in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but use the free version. So the QR code generator is free. The camera app on your phone is free. And get the free Linktree account. That URL is L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. Okay? I, just, I just posted it in the uh, in the comments. Hopefully that worked. I'm going over here now to go to the web page and see what we got here. So it took me to J Man's Linktree account. There you go, right there. And that's the that's the free version. And we we we'll always talk about tools and whether you should pay the extra money. This is one where I think you can get a lot out of it just by doing it for free. And here's the first person that went to scan it on the first day said, "Oh, you don't have a a virtual card," and and I'm like. Who does that in my head? I'm like, who saves that anymore? We connect on social media. We're connected. But I, I was, again, I was like, but does my client want it? So if my client wants it, I, I added it right there, right, you know, an hour later. 
So now that's the first thing. You want my virtual card? You can save that to your phone, and then we can connect on everything else. I want to use that version of Link Tree. You have the Why don't we version? do this? No, free. Here, here's what's funny, right? Even if they don't have a bot, they can go create that QR code generator for their Link Tree account, take a, a screenshot of it, and when you meet people out in the street, just pull up the picture and let them scan it and go right over to it. That, that That's how you connect with people in real time, right? right? So it's so many ways. Keep that JPEG. Forget your business card. Keep your JPEG uh, on your photo of that code and take them to places so they can connect with you. Now, hopefully you have some type of mobile system uh, as well, text messaging, but that would be something else. Well, let's, let's give them some kind of challenge to leave here today. Like I was thinking like some kind of Video, you know, we, we've gotten some love. We appreciate you guys reposting and and the good morning NAR hashtag. Uh, you know, man, we might continue this on indefinitely for for next year and 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 beyond. That's another story. Uh, give give us a a video shout out because you know I I saw Prince Princesses on again. I think uh, Princess Gonzalez. She was like in my session. She was like, you know, I'm introverted and I'm scared, but like you said, Jay, I'm just gonna do it. And and I think like that's the message. Like. Who cares, right? There's going to be haters in your life, always. They're going to come like, oh my God, you think you're doing video? You think you're so special? That's them. That's their insecurities that they're trying to project onto you. What I want to tell you is that we love you, okay? I wore this shirt today for a reason. It says, I can, I will, end of story. And every single one of you, what, what does yours say? Mine says create visual eight, content. Visual content. We're like, Mine just oh, says we're like pretty, oh, <laughs> pretty. <laughs> bonita, mira bonita, cómo está la cosa hoy? So wait, wait, create, wait, wait. Say, do you? We should have switched okay. seats. So yours is I can step back. It's Jay. Okay, I can, I will. What does it say? Bonita. Right, and then it's create pretty con, create pretty visual content. There we go. Yeah. So create a video, create one video and say, look at this week, I invested three full days of my time to better my business and take care of my clients. And then here are some things that, that we learned and man, good morning. NAR was the best show we've ever seen. <laughs> I don't want to put words in your mouth, but maybe, maybe it is. Um, and, and what we'll do is still use the hashtag good morning NAR, but I know we want to talk about social media. NAR is looking for posts like that, that, and they will repost that because they want other realtors to know you missed out on this because there's mm -hmm. a lot of realtors that missed out and that I think they could still, in theory, buy a ticket and then watch it all for the next 30 days, right? They can. They can still watch the replays are available for sale. You know, they're going to repurpose that content in multiple ways. Uh, yeah. But I would say uh, plan next week, Tuesday. A lot of people have their office meetings. Go sign up now. Stream it in your office for your team. Spend time together. Pick the sessions that you want. Spend a day together while you work on your 2021 business plan. Yeah. And, and share, right? Share with others. Uh, share with others. I won't say that I, you know, I'm, I zoomed anything to my wife that she wanted to see because that would be. That would be oh, awful. Really? I didn't, I didn't do that. Uh, <laughs> so and let's, we're, we're right at the 10 o'clock hour. We want to. Jay, you, you sound like you don't want to leave us. It's, it's I okay. I don't want to. Look at I, it's I, I gotta love go, this. We got to go. Cause you look know, at, I, I, go. I love you ladies. I love, I feel like there is such a synergy here. It's, it's just unbelievable. So it, it's something that is definitely going to continue in the future. Mark and I have been together with a bunch of events. Carrie, Carrie Little and I will be together for more events and we get the trio together, man. There's nothing that's going to stop us. I've been us. to Rochester once. You came and picked me you up did. from the I, airport. I, look at, I came and picked her up at the airport and somebody else from WCR was there to pick her up from the airport. But they didn't tell me. And I'm like, man tell me. Hey, like, Carrie, you got two drivers coming well, to get you, and, girl. And, but that's the difference about me. I'm that guy that if you say you're coming to my town, I will pick you up. I will take you around. Not like those imaginary friends that are like, if you're in town, give me a call. And I call them. I'm like, yo, man, your voicemail. What's up? I thought you were. <laughs> they leave you hanging. Yeah, man. I hate that. I hate that. Just keep it real. So what kind of music? we Look, we got a call to action. Make another post. We're going to we put one in. more winner. 
We got oh, one more. Oh, come on, Carrie. Oh. Come on with the one of the day. Yeah, Carrie. Yeah. I, I didn't do okay. it up. But. And look, this one was hard because there were a couple of people that were going. They were posting. They were posting real good. So I got two. You got two? We got to give away $50 today, Carrie. Okay, come yeah. on. Baby. Okay. So Princess Realtor. Woo! Princess Woo! And then uh, we have... Trina Washington from Arizona. Hey, Trina. Trina. Okay. Okay. What? That is amazing. Let's um, let's see what we want to take them out with. Some, something killer. Something killer. This day four. Something killer. Who I get to sleep in? Well, I don't get to sleep in tomorrow. I think I have a I like an eight o'clock meeting. What that look? I like? will work out. Let's see. Oh, no, I have a, a new agent. She's every bit of 23 years old. We have a little consultation in the morning. I am feeling energized by these 20 year olds. Like I'm getting ready to really get myself together. <laughs> you you got to set a good example, guys. You got to set a good example. And be on fleet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She this messing is... with me now. I'm trying to find my good music. I know, J Man, you really love. I, look, I wasn't look. ready. He wasn't, you wasn't ready. ready. He wasn't what? ready. All right, I'll bring mm. it back to Rum Shaker. Mm. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Got another real estate parody with J Man. This one's called Slump Breaker. Because all we want to do is a zoom, zoom, zoom mm. in a room, room. You know how it goes. You're ready. Oh. Tech baby tech baby one two three four tech baby tech baby one two three tech baby tech baby one two tech baby tech baby one slump breaker it's like sweeter than candy video skills are about to come in handy all across new york even down to west virginia zoom and open doors to the house before the end Hangouts, Messenger, Zoom, or me. We have all the apps to make the sale complete. You're worried that virtual houses won't sell? Tune in, listen, subscribe, and hit the bell. Agent of the year, and they all look surprised. The way you break the slump starts to open up their eyes. A plus now, because you're the deal maker. See, you break the slump like a slump breaker. All I want to do is I'm a zoom, zoom, zoom in a room, room, and break the slump. All I want to do is I'm a zoom, zoom, zoom in a room, room, and break the slump. All I wanna do is I'm a zoom 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 in a room room and break the slump. All I wanna do is I'm a zoom 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 in a room room and break the slump. Tech baby tech baby one two three four tech baby tech baby one two three tech baby tech baby one two tech baby tech baby one. It's J man ready with the one two offer these signatures and you know that it's proper you already know that we can't be faxing in the backyard of your home soon relaxing action. Pack the clothes in your closet. Kids growing up owning homes like their bosses. I mean to make you quit. We're here to turn it up. We're here to help you learn about how to break the sump. It's the way you comb your hair. Uh, it's the stylish clothes you wear. Uh, it's the little bit you do. Uh, that makes me wanna zoom with you. Uh, all I wanna do is I'm a zoom, zoom, zoom in a room, room. Slump breaker. All I wanna do is I'm a zoom, zoom, zoom in a room, room and break the slump. All I want to do is I'm a zoom, zoom, zoom in a room, room and break the slump. All I want to do is I'm a zoom, zoom, zoom in a room, room and break the slump. Break it, break it, break it, now break it. Join list things virtually educated. Market's not soft, making offers in the winter. To the closing table, quick, fast like a sprinter. Break it to the left, break it to the right. Zooming my listings like every single night. Try the zoom, zoom, a blue blocker. Break it in the, break it in the, baby, don't stop her. Let me see you do the zoomy hop. And now I'll make the house pop. On top, the seller's rouse drop. The way you're making your reels will appeal. And putting together a whole lot of deals. But I ain't in a trickin', I'm in a treatin', and I ain't in a treatin' all of you in a meetin'. Nah, 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 yeah, break it in the break it in the break it like that. Who we start shaking? Zoom and start shaking. Who we start shaking? Zoom, zoom, zoom in the room. Yo, that's it. That's a J-Man original called Slump Breaker, folks. Look at how many shows do you know that have their own original music for you with some backup dancers? Because we know Marky wasn't going to sing. I got to go. All right. We're going to end it. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks.
Mark Mark Lemons, Rao. And Carrie Jo. Make it a great day, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, NER. We're out.